Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for Dummies video. And today, we're going to be talking about some of the biggest recruiting news over the last couple of days to weeks. Now, let's get into it. First up, we have Justin Williams, five star linebacker in the class of 2024. He's 6'2, 205 pounds. He's from Conroe, Texas. He attends Oak Ridge High School. He's number 11 recruit nationally, number one linebacker, and the number three recruit coming out of the state of Texas. And he recently committed to play football for Georgia. He picked Georgia over at schools like Oregon, Alabama, and Texas. Uh, the main two were Oregon and Georgia, with Oregon being the lean for a very long time, and Georgia taking over over Oregon over the last couple of weeks to month. Now, this is an insane pickup for Georgia, who already has the number one recruiting class. I really can't even fathom how they keep picking up these high tier talent. It seems like clockwork to them. They just get five star after five star, four star after four star. And they already have like what, 26 recruits in this class. And they're looking to add a couple more high rated four stars and five stars. So I can't wait to see who they add next. Next, we have Mike Matthews, a five star wide receiver in the class of 2024. He's 6'1", 180 pounds. He's from Lilburn, Georgia. He attends Parkview High School, number 13 recruit nationally, number four wide receiver and the number three recruit coming out of the state of Georgia. And he just recently committed to play football for Tennessee. Now he picked Tennessee over schools like Clemson, Georgia, Alabama, and USC. It's a very, very, very big pickup for Tennessee, who has also been killing it on the recruiting trail lately. Um, Mike is a freak athlete, a freak wide receiver, and this is just a really, really, really solid pickup for Tennessee, who is adding a very solid class of their own. Next recruit is five-star wide receiver in the class of 2025, Jamie French. Now, Jamie is 6'185 pounds. He's from Jacksonville, Florida. He attends Mandarin High School, number 13 recruit nationally, number four wide receiver, and the number three recruit coming out of the state of Florida. Now, Jamie recently committed to play football for Alabama, and he picked Alabama over schools like Ohio State and Florida State and many, many others. Now, Alabama is killing it early in the 2025 recruiting class. This is their second five-star wide receiver already. Usually, Alabama takes a bit more time to get started on the recruiting trail. They usually don't start really, really killing it until late summer, early fall on the recruiting trail, at least over the last couple of cycles. But the 2025 cycle, they are starting strong and very quick. Um, very good pickup for Alabama. That receiving room is going to be set for years to come. Next recruit, we have Taylor Tatum, five-star running back in the class of 2024. He's 5'11", 205 pounds. He's from Longview, Texas. He attends Longview High School, number 31 recruit nationally, number one running back, and the number nine recruit coming out of the state of Texas. And he recently met recently committed to play football for Oklahoma. He picked Oklahoma over USC. And it's a very, very, very big pickup for Oklahoma. The number one running back in this class, and it was a very tight battle between them and USC. But ultimately, ultimately, I think he picked Oklahoma for Oklahoma's football program and baseball program because he's going to be playing baseball in college. Um, so, yeah, he's very quick and a very built running back. So I can't wait to see what he does at the next level. Um, Oklahoma is also putting in a very, very nice class in this 2024 cycle. Next up, we're going to do a rapid fire approach of some more commitments that have happened over the last couple of days to weeks. Um, so first up, we have Kingston Villamu Asa, a four star linebacker who's committed to Notre Dame. We have Corian Gibson, four star corner committed to Clemson. We have Taylin Singleton, four star linebacker going to LSU. We have T.A. Cunningham, four star defensive line going to Penn State. We have Edwin Spillman, four-star linebacker going to Tennessee. We have Liam Andrews, four-star offensive line going to Penn State. We have Brandon Jacob, four-star safety going to Maryland. We have DeAndre Robinson, four-star defensive line going to Texas. We have Tawaski Abrams, four-star wide receiver going to Florida. We have Zion Raggins, four-star wide receiver going to Oklahoma. We have Malcolm, Malcolm Ziegler, four-star safety going to North Carolina. Last but not least, I'm going to be doing the Fong Bomb Special. And what the Fong Bomb Special is, is covering the crystal ball predictions from Steve Wiltfong, the national recruiting analyst at 24-7 Sports. He's the director of recruiting. So whatever he puts in is usually correct, not 100%, but he has a lot of ins and outs with these recruits and people around them. So he has a lot of knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes. He only has one that I'm going to be covering today, and that's four-star running back, Nate Frazier has been predicted to go to Georgia. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching another recruiting news for dummies video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get alerts on every time I post a new video. And I'm out. Peace!